I think it's a stronger system. It's actually more beautiful. In San Antonio, the team's finishing up its review of possible designs for interiors on this new stately icon. Similar to a cabinet room in the White House, uh, where the president holds key meetings with his cabinet or his senior leadership, uh, the conference room in the aircraft is a, is a key space. We're going to be improving uh, with, uh, with modern electronics, larger displays, uh, the ability for the staff to use personal electronic devices so that all the information that they need is uh, readily available. As a proxy for the cabinet room in the West Wing, Air Force One's conference room will get a dramatic facelift. And this is what it could look like. The larger windows of the 747-8 will illuminate its bigger space and modern look. Armed with high-tech communications, it will also serve as a situation room. Bob, can you talk about uh, what we're doing with uh, the galleys on the new Air Force One? The new galleys, both front and back, will be uh, much larger, a much more efficient workspace, well planned out, modern technologies. Expanding on these restricted galleys will be two big kitchen areas, almost double the size. With designs like this, modeled on the very latest VIP luxury jets, they'll have all the equipment needed, not just to reheat prepared meals, but also to cook fresh food. In a dramatic upgrade from the 30-year-old medical technology, the new high-tech ER will be much bigger. 3D modeling envisions a surgical table with equipment able to handle dire medical emergencies, from strokes to assassination attempts. Cutting-edge health monitors and a large pharmacy will deal with practically any health emergency facing the president, his guests, or staff. And though Nancy Reagan's Southwestern designs will go, the stylish new bedroom will feel more spacious with a touch of five-star comfort, accessible only to the president, first lady, security detail, and chief flight attendant. But the presidential stars on the carpet will remain. The wooden look of the current office will be modified into a much more modern, modular office. As the Airborne Oval Office, it's from here the President will address the nation. But the most visible transformation could be to the exterior.